interest of the nation. This is not in the interest of the nation. Gambian lawmakers have voted to advance a measure revoking a ban on female genital cutting by removing legal protections for millions of girls, raising fears that other countries could follow suit. Of the 47 members of the Gambia National Assembly present on Monday, 42 voted to send a bill to overturn the ban onward to a committee for consideration before a final vote. Those in favour, 4 to 42. Those not in favour, 4. Abstention, 1. The eyes have it. Human rights experts, lawyers and women's and girls' rights campaigners say that overturning the ban would undo decades of work to end female genital cutting, a centuries-old ritual tied up in ideas of sexual purity, obedience and control. The current ban of female circumcision is a direct violation of citizens' right to practice their culture, religious and guaranteed by the 1997 Constitution. Honorable Speaker, given the Gambian predominantly Muslim population, and the law is inconsistent with the aspiration of the majority of the people should be reconsidered. Female circumcision is a cultural significant practice supported by Islam, values and tradition. If the bill passes the final stages, the small West African nation of Gambia will become the first nation globally to roll back protections against cutting. Gambia banned cutting in 2015 but did not enforce the ban until last year when three practitioners were given hefty fines. An influential imam in the Muslim-majority country took up the cause and has been leading calls to repeal the ban, claiming that cutting, which in Gambia usually involves removing the clitoris and labia minor of girls between the ages of 10 and 15, is a religious obligation and important culturally. Anti-cutting campaigners gathered outside parliament in Gambia's capital on Monday morning, but police set up barricades and prevented many from getting inside while allowing in the religious leaders and there their supporters who advocate cutting. 